Hello and welcome to my talk for VR Days Europe 2020. Uh, my very brief presentation today is entitled Collaborative Immersion Has Arrived. Uh, and as the title suggests, uh, this is an exciting time if you want to work together with colleagues around the world in virtual spaces. So uh, a bit about myself. My name is Michael Barngrover. Uh, I am a researcher of uh, collaboration and virtual spaces at Coach University in Istanbul. I'm also a developer, having founded my own uh, immersive design and consulting studio, Raptor Dance Studios. Uh, and I also organize a Zero event, which is a series of multi-user virtual platform explorations for the XR crowd community. So when the lockdowns happened, the very first things that started to virtualize uh, were VR events. Uh, and here is a screenshot from the XR Base Investor event, which took place in Engage. As part of Laval Virtual 2020, you'll notice that it took place in the amphitheater that HTC created and used for their own virtual event just a couple months before that. So this is like a one-to-one -one translation. We've got a stage, we've got some people on it, and then the attendees are sitting around uh, looking. They're not really doing much more than that, uh, but as time progressed, we're seeing so much more interest uh, in collaboration uh, in these virtual spaces. And this is what's really exciting. This is not new. This did not come out during the lockdown. But certainly, like everything with VR, the, the real interest and willingness to experiment with it has grown exponentially in this, in this period of pandemic. Here's a screenshot from a workshop that I organized in Rec Room uh, as part of my research. I re organized many workshops uh, on many different subjects with many different types of participants. These were creatives who were actually coming together to discuss what a creative collaboration uh, platform should look like. Uh, and we did this in Rec Room because Rec Room is an excellent creative platform. Um, and we, so, for example, this, this environment was chosen and designed by me uh, because it also is very much a one-to-one -one translation of what you would expect uh, in a virtual space. Um, this has a whiteboard with lots of markers, many different colors, we've got erasers, we've got uh, post-it notes, you know, common artifacts of physical workshops, uh, design workshops. And it's something that when people come into there, they kind of know exactly what they're getting into. And, uh, and that's important because the, the virtualization of these experiences can be a little uh, overwhelming. Uh, and so most platforms will try to do something like a one-to-one -one translation. Um, and here is kind of a diagram. Uh, it's very early insights from my research. Uh, I organized many of these successful immersive collaborative platforms uh, along two dimensions, which is their scalability, how quick and easy it is to get people, and then sometimes many people into these platforms uh, functionally. And then once they're in there, how, how sophisticated are the creative tools and functionalities given to the, the users? And of course, we see these, these, these compromises. There's the most creative ones tend to not be that scalable, either because of hardware demands uh, or just because they, they're really serving a very dedicated and, and uh, expert crowd, uh, or the ones that are very scalable, like Learn Bright and Hubs, which they just don't offer that much functionality inside them, but they're very easy to get into. Uh, and then, of course, we have this kind of this, this happy medium, uh, this balance between the two, where we have the wild Arthur Blue meeting the art, uh, and these platforms, uh, to varying degrees, offer a fair bit of sophisticated functionality um, and can support anywhere from 10 to, to 30, 40 people uh, concurrently. And uh, this is where we see a lot of new platforms emerging is right in, right in this, uh, this space here. So it's an ex exciting place to be if you want to use them. So all those platforms have to make compromises. Uh, and fundamentally, they all have to compromise on what it is that they're digitizing from a physical experience, that, that, which is the, the, the reference point. So what do the avatars look like? Uh, are they very realistic? Or are they photorealistic? What do the environments look like? Is it a conference room with a table and, and chairs? Or is it the beach in some tropical island? Um, if I have some great functionality like whiteboards, do I let them put them wherever they want? Or do I design a space where I place them? And do I give them tons of them? Or do I give them a few? Surprisingly, platforms have different uh, come to different conclusions about that one. Um, and for the user, what, uh, how are they controlling their experience? How are they controlling the environment? Are they, am I giving them a virtual tablet, uh, a watch, or is there just panels in space that they interact with? These are all design choices that these platforms have to make, and no two platforms make them the same. 
Some of the biggest issues that arise, though, from all these different choices is the users have certain expectations of how these platforms are going to work if they work with previous platforms before, um, such as how do I move around? How is teleporting work? How does rotating work with a joystick? Um, can I sit down in a chair if I see a chair in the room or not? Uh, how do I choose or select my avatars with the horse? And am I using a virtual keyboard or do I have to use my, my real keyboard? Uh, these all create friction uh, for, for users as they move around different platforms. Uh, here's an interesting kind of little case uh, in the platform Neos. Neos uh, is the only platform I know effectively that allows you to allow other users to see your user interface and even to help guide you through it. And one of the reasons is that Neos's user interface is really, really complex because this is a very sophisticated creative platform. Um, but when others can help me in the process of using the interface, not only can they help me, they can also, that's where our collaboration starts. I don't have to make it, show it to you and be good at that. You actually, we can be involved we can, we, we, can, we can be having valuable discussion all through the process of creation. Uh, and it's, it's curious that Neos is still one of the only ones I know that allow that to happen. Um, and speaking about how Neos's UI is complex, generally speaking, the more sophisticated the creative tools, the more overwhelming the actual experience of collaboration can be in these virtual platforms. Here's a workshop that I was organizing uh, in the platform Arthur, which is a very good meeting platform or collaboration has a lot of really good sophisticated tools. But as you see, this was after a couple of days, uh, sessions, not full days, but you know, a couple of sessions. Uh, it's very difficult to jump in here and, and follow along because we're using space and we're using it to different degrees of proficiency. Um, and to sometimes, you know, it's we're just it's not easy to stay organized when you're working with people and you're working with them to create artifacts that are are novel. Um, so my final advice, uh, ultimately, for people who are looking at these, these collaborative platforms is jump in there, bring your friends, bring your colleagues if they're willing to come with you, start to see how you use them and just keep it simple because effectively, no matter how much you try to use these great uh, functions in there that, this, that a platform might offer, 99.9% uh, .9 of all the information exchanged in my workshops uh, and in my experiences uh, outside of the workshops, it's, it's still verbal. It's just spoken. It's chatting. Um, so don't expect to use these great new tools, um, particularly with a new audience. Go in there, experiment, explore. Let them find the best ways to use these tools or to not use these tools and to just talk and brainstorm because this is still incredibly valuable and this is still very much effective collaboration um, so just keep it simple. Get in there, start seeing how you and your, your, uh, your colleagues use it um, and enjoy uh, and, and stay current. Try other platforms. This is an exciting time to be working with others uh, in virtual spaces. Thank you very much for your time and attention and uh, uh, I appreciate it.